And what's your relationship with the parties here? Um, yeah, we're neighbors. I live diagonally across the um, street from her. Okay. Well, tell me what you know about this incident. Sure. Um, on t February 28, around 1.45 p.m., I was at home and then um, heard a high-pitched dog crying. I looked outside the window and I saw a big dog on the side of the street. So I thought a dog was hit by a car and I you know, put my shoes on and ran outside. Um, and then I realized the dog was on top of another dog and um, saw the owner hitting the pit bull with, or Bambi's owner hitting the pit bull with a broom and she was screaming and crying. Um, and I, I just jumped in and I started throwing rocks at it and just obviously trying to stop it. Um, but I also personally didn't dare to go too close, you know, knowing how dangerous a pit bull can be. Um, and after what felt like minutes, Bambi's owner just dropped the broom and she just, I think she just froze and just kept crying, my Bambi, no, my Bambi. And, and she just stood there frozen. So I picked up the broom and I continued hitting the dog, thinking, you know, if I just hit hard enough, if I hit, you know, enough times, the dog will drop the, the pummel in. Um, yeah, the dog didn't flinch at all. It didn't acknowledge me. The owner came out and he was able to separate it. The pit bull's owner, the pit bull's owner came out. So after the attack, Bambi's, uh, Bambi's mom just broke down and Bambi was still laying there panting and just covered in blood. And I remember yelling at her to like pick her up and run to the hospital. And we, we have a hospital or a vet office two blocks down from us. And that's when the owners came out and immediately was able to stop it. And um, then one of the first things I think he said to us was along the lines of, please don't call 911. Um, she's normally not like this. Um, this is unusual. And I just remember being baffled with that statement after having just seen, you know, what we saw when we just didn't know what the owner was doing the attack. And he seemed, I think he was barefoot when he came out, super confused with the dog having even gotten out of the house. Um, and, you know, I'm a volunteer at the San Francisco SPCA and I, I socialize a lot of dogs that are reactive and that are um, unsocialized. Um, and I, I do think that this dog, you know, doesn't know how to behave around other dogs and um, presented at, in the worst case scenario without an owner it did kill. So we, we ran there and um, they graciously took us in immediately, um, stable, tried to stabilize Bambi, but immediately told us she would need you know, critical care at a larger hospital. And I remember the vet technician being extremely upset seeing how much pain Bambi was. And I remember trying to justify to her, but you know, I think the pit bull owners were really sorry. You know, they, they came out, they were crying you know, in the moment there. And she looked at me and said, if they were actually sorry, then today would not have happened. 